What is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction from Heroes Reforged. Today, we are concluding our journey through the Blumhouse trilogy with Halloween ends. Mm -hmm. Conclusion. Some would conclusion, say today, conclusion. Halloween ends. Today, people <laughs> die tonight. Today. <laughs> <laughs> he dying today. He will um, die this Augustine, afternoon. I'm glad, I'm glad you remember that, Augustine, from uh, Halloween Kills because mm -hmm. Adam and I had a chance to this movie earlier this week it was a really mm -hmm. cool early screening and right before the movie started somebody in the theater shouted evil dies tonight and everybody in there laughed and they were all <laughs> on board like it was halloween fans nice, like it nice, was people nice. you know they knew what they were getting into and that was a great like signal as to what kind of audience we were going to watch that with and you know right and and there were moments in the film that everybody kind of reacted the same way and laughed at the same mm -hmm. thing or were, mm -hmm. were like clapped at the same thing so it was really cool it was really fun but That's i'm cool. super excited and adam and i've talked about this already about watching this with you cannot wait to get your take on it so yeah uh, definitely i'm i'm pumped uh, i'm i feel like we're watching this just for me at this point so <laughs> do you know <laughs> who you're go, talking bro. to <laughs> <laughs> no it's just in, for me adam <laughs> before we get into this reaction if you want to see the uncut reaction for this movie plus carpenter 78 film the 2018 film and halloween kills check out our patreon next year based on the feedback we got from everybody sounds like we're gonna go through the entire halloween franchise and start with halloween 2 <laughs> the original go all the way through every timeline all the, the zombie movies everything so yep. it's gonna be a lot of fun i can't wait to find out what you guys think about those movies this is gonna be a real hoot. yeah a i real don't think hoot. i've ever seen any of those movies so yep okay, also okay. subscribe yeah. if you haven't already let's get to 100k if we haven't gotten there at this point then god help me let's do We're that before be sad we watch boys. halloween yeah yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 44 years in the making. Evil uh, dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. Wow. <laughs> you guys ready? Interesting. Yes. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. 94.9 The Urge. Haddonfield's home for Rock. I'm Willie the Kidder. Haddonfield home for Rock. I remember I we're in the theater and I was DJs, like, bro. is this the right movie? But then they said Haddonfield yeah. and I'm like, okay, yeah. this is how they're starting. It's the right one. This is the right one. Corey, you're a lifesaver. Right. Jeremy, lifesaver. the sitter's here. Oh. Cool, cool staircase. Definitely not awesome a poor staircase. Jeremy, <laughs> oh, you are That's a good one. Oh, I like that mask. Jeremy's been afraid of the dark. He's been I could read him a story or something. Does he have a favorite book? And once he goes to bed. Hey man, I still wet the bed because of Michael Myers. <laughs> this is a fourth. The Thing, John Carpenter's <laughs> The Thing. Yep. So here's a question. If John Carpenter's The Thing exists in this universe, what was uh -huh. his claim to fame? Does... The Fog? <laughs> yeah. If he made Halloween, is Jamie Lee Curtis still in it? Is it based on actual yep. events? Mm. If you like pretending to be best friends with an ugly ass boy babysitter. <laughs> that kid needs to go to sleep. That kid is. Really so you will go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. Yeah. There you go. All right. Choco meal, baby. And chocolate cake, bro. Jeremy, turn that movie off. Oh, no. Jeremy? This is terrifying, dude. And yeah. you're in Haddonfield. Yeah, you're in Haddonfield. And it's a year after Michael Kids Myers gone. killed. What was the what was the tally? Like Halloween and Halloween I think it kills. Was thir thirty-one or thirty-two. Cake is aided. Knife is gone. Why is this house six stories tall? Haddonfield, dude. It's the price of a one-bedroom apartment in LA. You get <laughs> yeah. this in, in Haddonfield. The <laughs> yeah, whole in house. Michael said, fight me, bitch. Hector, the house you had in Mid-City had this kind of vibe. We had a basement. It was creepy. Chinga su madre. Okay. Oh, okay. It's the kid. I, I found it here. So on September 9th, I said, Michael Myers has 48 confirmed kills altogether. 48. Okay. Oh, don't break the door, bud. You definitely don't want to cause property damage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord. Oh, bro. Uh, Oopsie. 
Jeremy did, bro. Jeremy did. Uh, yeah. Killer intro. Uh, these titles in the last movie, in the last two movies, they were like orange. Yeah. So they were very much based yeah. on the original Halloween one and the original Halloween two. These ones are mm -hmm. homaging the original Halloween three. Um, mm, I see. Part of me kind of wishes they would have just kind of gone all the way in and just gone yeah. like the full digital the orange route you, you guys haven't seen it so you don't know what i'm referencing but yeah um we'll get to it and you'll you'll see and you'll be like oh i i get it that one's not carved yet what does it mean this movie oh that the final <laughs> pumpkin is my favorite because that looks Full horrifying blood. i bought a home with love and trust not a trap, not a place to hide. I bought a home with the residuals I made off of the Halloween movie that John Carpenter directed. <laughs> it has been four years since I last saw my monster. So here I am, mm. survivor attempting to share my story. That was really sad that, that it said, I'll take care of you, mommy, is what mm. the Judy Greer character at first in first grade, already in, yeah. in first grade, she knew her mother was some sort of traumatized and, and went through yeah. some some trauma. She was like, I'll protect you, mommy. It is four days. Uh, it's time okay. Play. Dang. You ready in case the boogeyman decides to come out and play? I know I am. Uh, this is the worst radio DJ playing into this garbage. Come on, man. These are real people who got murdered. I agree with you totally. But this this what would happen. I fully believe that a town like Haddonfield or just an American uh -huh. town would commercialize it, buy into play that into shit. It? They would. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, it's a good little Kawasaki. Oh, I think Augustine's gonna connect to Corey. I got no use for it no more. Are you serious? What? A good engine pushing you. you give problem. it away? That's tight, bro. Isn't that nice well, that, that his bot, like, he knows what he went through a few yeah. years ago? No. And there he is, Michael Myers. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go visit Pennywise first, and then we'll get back to Michael. <laughs> You live in a sewer. Here's the deal, man. We're in the fucking marshes, man. We were just hoping you could. The cool, you know, the cool kids. You're that psycho babysitter. He killed that kid, didn't he? Yep. Killed a kid. How do you even, like, get, leave your house? <sighs> fucking pedo creep. What? How did How did Lori um, buy a house? Move. Move out of Haddonfield. Right. <laughs> And this guy, I would have, I would have moved if I were him. Ah! Uh, Knock it off! We're not so doing we're anything. We're just we're talking, messing man. around, ma'am. <laughs> Michael Myers. He's well, fucking asshole, kids. So do you want to do it? Or you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense awesome. that Lori would would drive a fucking Ford Ranger. Ford Rangers and are fucking with, indestructible, bro. Of a pinch here. Cute, hey, Boyo, focus up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Just clean it up and get a goddamn sterile kit and give him a tetanus shot. I'll be back. <laughs> this dude is such a dick. Yeah, that doctor's the worst. So my car's been rattling. Uh, it's just your exhaust system clamps come loose. It's an easy fix. It takes like five minutes. Super sent I haven't heard sent in a long time. <laughs> You know, you need to find someone that makes you want to rip off your shirt and show grief your fucking tits and say, you know what? Let's go. This is <laughs> I love Jamie Lee Curtis. She's the best. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Well, I just might have to send him back to the call center to work for Devon if you can't give him proper supervision. What the hell are you doing? So is that his dad or just his boss? It, they, it, it kind of seems like he's like the mom's boyfriend. Boys who keep secrets don't get custard for dessert. Oh no. Because <clears throat> he never calls him. I don't it's think they ever refer to each other as father and son, so. <laughs> nice. They even got the sounds right. David Gordon Green, real motorcycle enthusiast. Hell yeah. Oh, cool. I, I actually don't Augustine, know. if you ever meet him, that's your that's your in. That's your in. <laughs> that's my in. I'm like, yeah, that Kawasaki sound? Accurate. Good job. Get on. You don't just okay. let a so, newbie just get on. Dude, 
Not even to That's flirt. Break your Augustine, arms. Don't tell me you don't tell me you didn't never <sighs> let Cynthia on to flirt. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fix the rattle. Your rattle. Your car's uh, I don't care about the rattle. I came to see you. Ooh. You should really fix that rattle. You oh, really got it pretty easy. That. Well, look who it is. Hey. <laughs> I got myself a guitar at the pawn shop, and I've been fiddling around yeah. with that. My niece gave me a Rosetta Stone, and now I'm learning Japanese. <laughs> I love this guy. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll fly over for the cherry blossoms. Test it out on the That road. you should. Uh -huh. See, we need to see more movies like this, older protagonists and totally. characters that mm -hmm. are yeah. having romance, you know, having yeah. adventures, <clears throat> Who says enjoying you life. Love on in I, your 60s. I like your face. I mean, I like seeing you. <laughs> so do you. I mean, <laughs> this is adorable. So Give me a break. Oh, man. I know. This is so like, super. She's yeah. been through so much shit I in know. her life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you see what he did to my sister? He killed her husband. He stabbed her. Oh man! She's the one that got the light through the throat. You were her neighbor, so, and you don't even I know. I gotta amend that. That's forty-seven kills, Michael Myers, because she survived. Yeah, that Not lady didn't die. The most unbelievable part of this show, is, or I'm sorry, this movie, is that people are listening to the radio. I haven't listened to the radio since <laughs> 1998. <laughs> <laughs> one that's nick castle who played michael myers in the original movie mm. two that line is straight out of the original that's what uh linda says to michael myers when mm. he comes in to kill her no is this your dance are you having a good time oh no this is not good i wake up every day and i can't get she's like i haven't taken this costume off in three years Corey! Corey, watch out Dude's always almost getting hit this by guy. cars and shit. Yeah, bro. Use a crosswalk. People look at me. I'm the psycho babysitter. I'm the fucking kid killer. And you think you can fix me. But you can't. I turned to Adam in the theater at this part, and I was like, I know this boy has gone through some stuff. And he's right when he said people do not mm -hmm. see what he went through, and they do not see him as the victim. But I turned to Adam, yeah. and I'm like, this fool is dummy to walk away from that wonderful woman who is, like, opening up to him <laughs> and, like, he's a dumbass. I... He can't see it though. He can't. He can't. There you are, man. I've been looking for he you. can't see past this trauma. I want to apologize. So these, I like these motivations. These motivations are very clear. Oh. Hey, man, what just leave Corey alone, you guys. Dollar store designer friend. Oh god. That. Yo, if someone did that to me, I would I'm beat that game just, over. I'm so bad. It's game over. Whoa, whoa. Get the fuck back. Little psycho bitch. You don't know what you're was that Lori's about. gun or knife? It was Lori's so, knife, yeah. Really mm. <laughs> Corey's right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is he dead? Go down and look. Or you go down and look. I didn't push nobody. He fell. Bullshit. No, you pushed him, bro. <laughs> oh. Pennywise got him. Ah, uh, Splinter. Been a long time. Ah, my sons. <laughs> Radical dude, we saved you from those bullies. Can we keep them? <laughs> you know, there is a new animated Turtles movie coming out next year, so. That's true. It'll be another theory. Oh my oh, god. Is there a boy? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. He sees the evil in this kid. Evil lives tonight. Yup. Let me tell you my favorite thing about this movie. The score is pretty mm. phenomenal. Yeah, John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and Daniel Davies. You see what happened in there? Uh-oh. This guy just killed his first innocent guy. Don't throw it into the street. That's where they're going to find it. Jeez. Yeah, this guy got hurt. Dude, falling from that high, like you probably Man. would like break. Yeah. Easily break something. You but... might have, might have yeah, some easily. internal damage. 
Like I get that his pants should be dirty, but it, this dude's chonies were excessively dirty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> did he? The chone zone was not clean, clean yeah. brother. <laughs> yeah. Did he like shit himself? I would have. Yeah. Also and, swerved and that Myers one. Him, Michael was about to kill him, and he was like, <clears throat> "Yeah, he's that's like, why. That's why I let him go." I wish more people would do that old school style zoom in still. Mm, talking about old school, that's old school right there, baby. That's, that's old straight school out of 78, bro. Oh, Chinga su madre. Oh my God. That was an excellent, excellent, excellent. Wow, show. that was great. This kiss from the gas station that would mess with me. I tried to stand up for myself and mm. pay off. I'm sorry. Everything Jamie Lee Curtis just did in that shot was perfection because she sees something is something's mm -hmm. changed if anybody can sense it it's her is that from the halloween theme nope first two notes of jurassic park <laughs> god man the blood stain is still if i were allison i'd be like hey you know Corey, we both need to go talk to somebody but we do need to work through this but you and i for different yeah. reasons and together to go talk to a, like a professional. Your granddaughter should be so lucky as to be with a boy like Corey. He's handsome. Whoa. He's sensitive. He's She's so, so aggro. When he stays out yeah. With girls, but he's grown. He can do what yeah, he now wants. she's putting it together. She's like, oh, okay. Yep. This town turned against him after the accident with Jeremy Allen. They would have felt for him, but because your boogeyman disappeared, they needed a new one. Lori has literally oh, right. nothing to fucking do with it at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's it's tough to try to see it from the perspective of the town, but I'm like, she didn't ask for this. <laughs> hey, you said you uh, you were gonna call. You were you were gonna call, but you didn't call it. No, I owe you a call. Did I Now's not the time, Seabass. Joe Grillo's birthday today. Whatever you guys are doing, good. change your mind. She you said we're good. Hey, but you got a problem? Yeah, we're good. You're being an asshole. So you call Mister. Aggravated manslaughter at night when you can't sleep. God. You feel safe with this guy? <laughs> I just, just looked at one of the extras behind him who just went. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I would have did. Bro, I'd be that out that amazing. door already. That was amazing. We need to go kick somebody today? No, no, I got this. That's always like the way that like jerk ass douchebags drink beers in movies is they always grab the beer and they're always like, like swig it. They do that like that little wrist. Yeah. And I'm thing. always yeah. like, <laughs> and it's always Some people uh, drink out of bottles like monsters. Motorcycle. Here's the thing that bugs me about motorcycles and movies. Nobody ever wears helmets. Wear your fucking oh, helmets, people. Ooh. Ooh, a little trick or tree. Alson's also in a, like, a little bit of, like, this vulnerable, maybe not vulnerable, it maybe isn't the right word, but, you know, this is, like, the first person who she kind of feels like she can maybe relate to since the 2018 yeah. murder. So yeah. she is probably yeah. going to get kind of quickly attached because yeah. she finally feels like she's being recognized just for her as a person. Yeah. So finding somebody who you can relate to is kind of an addicting experience at first. You feel seen. But it's crazy yeah. that Corey didn't tell Lori, I know where Mike, where Michael Myers is. Right, on it's purpose. Just... Oh, I thought he had a gun. Yeah, I'm sure oh, you didn't so see that Yuri. bright ass light. <laughs> you have the power of the sun in your hands and you're covering it now? <laughs> Jesus. Uh you're done, son. You're done. Oh no. Yo, if I were that cop, I'd be like, I'm calling requesting backup. Uh <laughs> yeah, I'm out exactly. here. <laughs> Do not chase this fool into the sewer. Mm -hmm. If he requested backup. They could have found Michael Myers, took him yeah. out, ended the Halloween franchise. He would have been the oh, hero of Haddonfield, but it, his ego. That's a his face. His ego. Yep. <sighs> this guy. Get up! Oh, he's not at the top of his game. Yeah, yeah he's like, what, he 75? Fucked up. <laughs> yeah. In the last movie. 
Yeah, my goal Ooh. at this Ooh. point is 60. Yeah. Five. I guess oh, this cop. Yep. Yeah. Look, if this cop. Veteran Michael Myers. Such a... <laughs> age 65 Coming years old and he's out of retirement. Coming back, back out of retirement. First kill. Nobody and expected it. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's going to bring Michael Myers' combined kill count from Halloween, Halloween, to a Halloween staggering kills, and now Halloween at 48. <laughs> Meanwhile, Corey's kill count remains at two. Meanwhile, Corey's boner is fully up. I don't know what's happening to me. Yes. This actor Bro, is... Bro, this fantastic. is the last house you should be in right now. This is Rohan Campbell is the uh -huh. actor who plays Corey. Yeah. 25 year old actor. He's doing a great job. Kills it in this movie. Honestly, he's great. And I agree with Adam. This role would be so fun to play. Ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Dang. Did Lori like go in the house that night or did she like she had to have? Because she's like, well, I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let my granddaughter get some, but I gotta go Ooh, in and sleep. I'm nice. tired. <laughs> Imagine if your grandmother had fallen in love with Michael Myers, but she didn't. I heard she stabbed him in the neck with a fucking knitting needle. What's your problem, Deb? You talk to me like I'm not even here. Jesus Christ. Did you ever just shut your goddamn mouth? I know, right? I know, I talk too much. I just get so excited about all that <laughs> This woman. Is that, how, is that how I'm like when I talk about Halloween? <laughs> no. His eyes. Are we talking about Michael or this kid? Michael's eyes in Corey. I don't know, man. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Yeah, he could. He sensed something was different about him. Yeah, everybody can sense it at this point. It's a little supernatural, but then again, the Halloween franchise is a little supernatural the way it treats. Mm -hmm. Mike, right? He is Absolutely. a shape. Carpenter. Yep. And that's the thing that Carpenter always says about Michael Myers, which is why he never explored the backstory of Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. is Michael is the embodiment of evil. He's evil mm -hmm. in the shape of a man. So mm -hmm. there is right. a supernatural element to it, which is why mm -hmm. at the end of the movie, he's gone. He disappears, you know? So mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe I have been waiting all day for this. That's not to say that you couldn't do it. I just haven't bunk, seen it in a way that I'm like, oh, this oh, is interesting. Oh, a bon climat. That's made in Santa Maria. I love that wine. I can see you're such a dad. We should have got some for this movie, damn it. <laughs> so funny. You watch this movie, you're like, oh, I love That's that wine. Really good wine. good motorcycle, that the wine. wine. No joke, you guys. This movie was made just for me. That wine is incredible. <laughs> oh. That was not a good scream. Conditions are right tonight, folks. Are we going to see some kills? From your champion, Michael Myers. Let's find out. Ooh, no. It's not Michael. Santa Maria wine, you son of a bitch. How dare you? <laughs> With a corkscrew. The rookie. <laughs> that sucks. The rookie, Corey, rookie move, getting his damaged hand hurt. Michael Myers famously took a Captain Kirk Halloween mask. Corey's going for a mm. shitty clown mask. I like Corey's shitty clown mask, though. Are we about to see the famous pin to the wall move? Let's find out. <laughs> Michael Myers going with a classic. A classic Can he move. do it? Signature you finisher know, move here. Can he pin it? <laughs> Adam and Augustine, I have to say, at this point, it feels like he is showing off to the rookie Corey, showing him how it's done. <laughs> Pin to the wall. There you Pin have it, folks. to the wall. What a decoration this Halloween season. <laughs> Kill number 49. And I look up at that tower. I wonder if I could climb to the top. Infected. He's infected. Ah. Uh, Evil infects tonight. Corey, what are you? I'm Batman. What are you insane? That is dumb. This mm -hmm. guy has got been hurt. Cool. hurt. Yeah. Did you see that? Ooh, he you got up just yeah. like Michael. He got up just like Michael. Corey Cunningham. 
What you doing out here, you ugly motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be hanging out with this guy the whole time. He's the shit talker on the radio. He's the DJ, but like, he's funny. Mm, she teased yeah. the man with brain damage and then he snapped. That's not true. You. You gonna That's not true. That's not cool. Now, huh? Oh no, I wouldn't be hanging out with this guy. Y'all get the hell up off my property before I fuck y'all up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hang out with Willie, but I'd be like, hey, man, for real, though, Laurie Strode went through some shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know, but, but <laughs> yeah, for you're, real. you're funny. That's where you go every night. Well, I say, <gasps> go. And I think I've been trying to keep track of the of the time. And I think this is the night before Halloween. Oof. Yeah, it is. Because it's been, a, right? It's no. been a four night, a four day <gasps> thing. We've been four days from <sighs> Halloween. Just she kissed him in the mouth. Yeah, the audience, the audience went, <laughs> when she did that. <laughs> I love. This fucking creepo. and they and they laughed and applauded at that poor guy there we go now we're in halloween i was actually Man. when we were watching the theater and it went to this title card I, I i think i may have said it to you i was like oh i i didn't even realize it wasn't halloween yet guys i'm really enjoying this movie by the way all <laughs> right, nice. i'm about to go fire up that motorcycle and sharpen all my kitchen knives am i a bad person <laughs> we're both fucked up <laughs> let me help you it's too late, Lori. If I can't have her, <laughs> no one will. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. I'm the psycho. You're the freak show. How dare you talk to Lori like that? <laughs> Yo. She just She's Batman, Batman out of that him. situation. Yep. Yeah. I think that's one thing I actually kind of find refreshing about this movie is in the past, it kind of toyed with it. It doesn't feel unrealistic to me that after everything that's happened in Haddonfield, that one other person would, would go crazy go and go crazy and be know, consumed yeah, by evil. Absolutely. And, or I don't know if that's insensitive to say sort of go crazy. I'll say this. When, when we went to go see this movie, Augustine, Adam and I went to uh -huh. this little event afterwards. And our pal Clark Wolf was there and she saw the movie too. Yeah. And she was at that event and she was like, as a fan of true crime and true crime yeah. podcasts and documentaries, mm -hmm. this is how it always goes down. That a person who ends up yeah. kind of being a serial killer, the first kill is yeah. sometimes accidental, yeah, just like Corey. Totally. And then you, mm -hmm. when you're exposed to that or near it, it can lead, it, it, can, it, can, it can snowball yeah. into this. It consumes yeah. you. Yeah. And I didn't know that. And I thought that was a very interesting <clears> perspective. I honestly yeah. did not. I'm not a big true crime person. So it's really interesting that they took that angle for this movie. And I mean, in the very beginning, they show you that like Adam, Adam Field was affected by it. Like people absolutely committed suicide. People hurt other yeah. people. So, yo, so I mean, you know, Michael Myers. You, you know he's like fully kind of committed at this point because he literally goes in there to go wrestle Michael Myers. Right. That's, that is that takes and Jack his mask. Ooh, I was not expecting this. There's that. <laughs> Guys, do you know how hard it is to get up without lifting your legs like that? At age 65? Yeah. That ain't no. Was Michael without Myers grunting? Doing, doing crunches every day? Bro, I can't get abs? up off this chair without grunting. <laughs> I feel he is capable of real harm. Is that what bothers you? What did I, you say to him? I see the same thing in him that I saw in Michael. Michael. Because of the hysteria that you caused. My friends are dead. My parents are dead. You're the one. It's capable of fucking harm. I mean, again, it wasn't Lori's fault. <laughs> no. Michael escaped. Everybody keeps blaming her. And walked yeah. right into the middle of Haddonfield and slaughtered a bunch of people. Allison ha obviously has a bunch of stuff to go through because she was like, if you knew my grandma before the therapy, when she was like off the deep end. Well, like the past yeah. four years, has Allison been going to therapy? Is she okay? These two characters obviously have a lot to, to go through. Billy, back to car room. Okay. Grab that chain. Harry, Guys, to don't touch the bike, please. It's a classic. One of these teenagers' names is Billy. Billy historically has never survived a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> never. What you trying to do, man? Suck your own. Oh my God! Billy has been oh, killed oh, by Corey. Billy. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <sighs> Corey's revving up that murder boner. <laughs> mm, yep. One down, All three to go. <laughs> This girl, this girl was like so against them, always picking on him. Like you just put yourself in the yeah. worst position. And so yet she continued to... to hang out with them on Halloween night. Adam, as oh, far as I'm oh. concerned, she's gonna she's... get what's coming to her. Yeah. <laughs> Ching. 
Yep. <laughs> We're up to five that confirmed was kills for Corey. Oh, he's got a mechanic suit on and everything. Mm -hmm. Sass. That's an in, that's an implied confirmed kill. We are up to yep. six for Corey. I got you. Bro, this guy's never shot a gun before. Of course. Oh, that one doesn't go Corey's to Corey. Great. That one goes to that teenage kid. Yep. Mm -hmm. What? <clears throat> Stacy has been oh. killed. Margo's still alive. Is this guy gonna get a plasma gun? Oh, to the mouth! Oh, that's right. In the face. <laughs> In the face. <laughs> wow, that's really. I like we that kill. That's six, creative. Okay. Six confirmed oh. kills. Oh. And then Ronald. This is what we're looking for. Ronald. Mm, sorry, Ronald. Ronald's gone. Ronald's he, he no here. Fantastic recreation of the shot in the first Halloween movie. Corey has eight confirmed kills so far in this film. Can I help you? Adam, this person, this who is this person? Because they got a response in the theater screening. Is she like a horror it, person? I've watched the show before, but she basically co-hosts the show on Shudder with another like mm. horror host. I see. Where they talk about horror movies. Well, with those two kills, Corey has confirmed up to 10 confirmed kills. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, oh, he's going to cut his tongue off because he hates the way he talks. <laughs> so accurate. <laughs> his tongue is on the record. <laughs> it's just flopping around. Just flopping around. You guys, my my dream for our channel is that one day we'll make a cameo like that in a Marvel movie. <laughs> like that lady. Yeah. The show's called that The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. That's, a, that's Joe Bob Briggs. I know, yeah. I know him. I know him. I know him. Joe Bob Briggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was <laughs> there was a point while this movie was in production that I like definitely did some reaching out and I was like, I'll fly myself out to Georgia to get Aww. murdered. Please. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I got a good reaction uh, face. You guys not seen my videos? Yeah, right. Come on. <laughs> yeah, here's my uh here's my resume. I'm just seen my fucking reactions. Gifts? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> Set the mood. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're slowing things down after that little Mm-hmm. Yes, I would like to report a suicide. <laughs> Did you really think I'd kill myself? Hell no. Not tonight, baby. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. That got a good reaction in the theater. Two people were like, yeah. Hell no. Rookie Corey has not a chance in hell against veteran Laurie Strode here, ladies and gentlemen. Three Laurie Strode, four films, four timelines. <laughs> She's done this time and time and time again. <laughs> A rickety Ford Focus. Mm. <laughs> he rec yeah, he recognizes the whose car. If I can't have her. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Why'd you take out the knife, Lori? What did you do to him? No, no. Hmm. The my only gripe with this is. The Michael Myers mask is literally right next to him. Yeah. So at that point, I'm like, why would Lori set that up? The <laughs> Corona is not over. You got time on the clock, fourth quarter. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I think we're going into overtime, in overtime. here, Adam. We're in overtime mm -hmm. at this point, baby. Uh -oh. I do want to point out that Lori, maybe about five minutes ago, maybe eight minutes ago, called the police to report a suicide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are well, nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slowest ass police in Haddonfield, <laughs> Illinois. This yeah. town is five miles wide. Give me a break. Oh, we're going back to basics, baby. She's got we're no weapons. Back. No weapons. This guy's about to die. Michael has got his face back on. Yep. Oh, that is the end of the career for Corey. And that is Michael's at least 50th kill.
This is a very different house than the one that Lori had set up in the previous two films that were like yeah. Michael Myers proof. This is just like a regular ass house. I don't care that he's 65. I'd be shitting myself. <laughs> Oh man! All those years of self-defense are kicking in. I know. Oh no! There you go, Lori. Oh god, he's going for the, going for the maiming. No! I hate Ooh. those damn things. Yeah. Old school, baby. Let's go. Yeah, knitting needle, knitting needle. <laughs> My favorite character in the franchise. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, maybe not oh, after man. this. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, he's got to keep his mask on. He's got to keep his mask on. Yeah. Oh, got him. Pinned, got pinned him. you, bitch. Get his ass. Lori knows what's up. She knows what's up. Yeah, she's yeah. she's been practicing for this for decades. Got him. Ah, no hesitation. Thank you. Keep Ooh. going, Lori. Woo! Lori, keep going. You know this guy's insane. Yeah! Crucify that! Pin. <laughs> Get that oh, his iron. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. She's gonna suplex hey. off the fridge! <laughs> she goes <laughs> comes down on him <laughs> yes thank you Oy, cut him open Lori no, 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 no. slice it well she's making sure he gets his she gets his lungs carve that pumpkin yep evil carves tonight <laughs> evil gets carved tonight I've run from you Hmm. I have chased you. This, com this confrontation is pretty good. You're just a man who's about to stop breathing. Dang. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> that is. Oh, of course, Michael would slice his own hand for this. Dude, but wait, you actually that was see a it? fantastic Dude. move. Will he take her out as he leaves this planet? Oh, the man. flashback, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> battle of epic proportions. <laughs> the grand finale. <laughs> there are no better arch rivals in the game. No! Ah! That you can that you can live long oh. and prosper forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. Forever. <laughs> Team up. Lori with a devastating Jesus, devastating <laughs> oh wrist opening God. with the neck opening with the pinning with the fringe fridge suplex. <laughs> Do you believe in miracles? In miracles, <laughs> <laughs> it is happening tonight, folks. Oh man, the greatest underdog story <laughs> with the worst cops in history. Twelve minutes <laughs> on the clock. <laughs> Lewis, uh, we're sorry, we're so slow, boss. We uh, sorry, we guys. took the wrong turn. Uh, uh, sorry, boss. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? He's dead. Hell yeah, he's dead. You sure? I'm not dead enough. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Augustine, a moment ago you said it was overkill and overtime, but this is what needs to be done. <laughs> this is double time, baby. Yeah. The police Chicago, force. Chicago taking the Stanley Cup home tonight. <laughs> the police force, the slow ass police force of Haddonfield are driving the body of Michael Myers through the streets. But wait, the people have joined the parade to celebrate the death There's of Michael no Myers. Just to, just to put the nail in the coffin, this soundtrack, wow. this song is called The Procession. You may see some fan favorites like the sheriff from the past Two movies, the townspeople, the woman oh, who survived. they're gonna put him through the automotive chipper. Julian, Chris ladies and gentlemen. Nails. Julian! The boy who lives. He is. I think it's more appropriate than ever to say that evil dies tonight. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, for years it was said that uh, in any Halloween contract, Mustafa Akkad, who was the distributor of all the Halloween movies, had a yeah. clause that said you could not kill Michael Myers. Mm. Well, it, it made sense then. Well, they're about he's to. He's dead now. Evil dies tonight. Look Yo, at this shit. You're showing it. <laughs> he got crushed like a fucking pumpkin. <laughs> wow. So there could be no doubt. This Miguelito is it. Game over, dead. folks. There would be no tombstone, no memorial. The mysteries. Were I'm surprised dead. Lori didn't pull her pants down and piss on that body, dude. That was <laughs> so know, disrespectful. Man, straight up. I've said goodbye to my boogeyman. But the truth is, evil doesn't die. Mm hmm. It changes shape. Everybody, take a shot. I wanted you to know I was thinking about you. Hmm. I want to thank you for what you did. That's so nice. Mm. Eat healthy. Yeah, live another 20, what 30, 50 you years. About those cherry blossoms. Yes, go to Japan, please. I hope this story, this the end credits are a super kawaii Japanese ending when they're in Japan going, ah, hey. You hear that? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Boys, you made it. What I waited, uh, what I waited 30 years for, you waited yeah. six weeks. <laughs> six weeks, baby. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's unpack this a little bit because yeah. Adam and I got to chat about it. We haven't had a chance to talk to you about it yet, Augustine. Just to cover it, Adam, I don't know if you feel the same because you've had a few days to mm -hmm. digest. My mm -hmm. ranking is kind of still the same, right? The original is the best. And then I like mm -hmm. these uh, this new Halloween trilogy kind of in the order that they were released, honestly. I, I, you know, mm. I don't know. Do I like this one more than Halloween Kills? I don't know. Ultimately, I, I, I think I enjoyed it more the second time watching it with you guys than I did the first time, because the first time, mm -hmm. first time you're kind of like processing the like, oh, okay, a lot of this movie is going to be about Corey and his turn mm -hmm. to the dark side versus you can't really, Michael Myers, like you guys are saying, he's not a character, right? It's just a force mm -hmm. that Laurie has to go up against. And you cannot do that trick again for like the third fourth fifth time or whatever so they decided to bring in Corey. i thought by the end of the movie mm -hmm. michael myers was going to get killed maybe laurie would have died but Corey mm -hmm. would have survived to then become allison's michael myers in a movie mm -hmm. that they could revisit years from now 40 years from now like whatever they wanted to do but Corey was killed halloween right. ends the franchise is over oh right now i kind of feel like it was that final confrontation was great but the movie itself was sort of not what i expected this last, you know, Halloween movie, the final Laurie and Allison mm -hmm. story to be. But watching with you guys, yeah, I still, I, you know, you have a good time. It's, 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 it, it delivers some of the great stuff that you're expecting. Adam, is your ranking the same? Do you still feel the same? Well, it's actually been really interesting to sit with the movie for a couple of days. And on top of that, you know, for the last 12, 24 hours to kind of see the reaction from people. Yep just mm -hmm. across social media. And I said this when I initially tweeted about the movie, I, I immediately felt like the conversation about this film is going to be divisive because yeah. I think there's gonna be a group of people who are just horror movie fans or just movie fans. There's gonna be the Halloween diehards. And there's also gonna be Carpenter fans that mm -hmm. are all gonna have very different conversations about this movie. You know, for you guys, you haven't seen Christine, but this borrows a lot from that concept of Christine, like to the point where the character's name is Corey Cunningham, the character in Christine, which is originally Stephen, Ke Stephen King book that Carpenter adapted, is Archie Cunningham. So and it's about a, a person who gets basically possessed or influenced by an evil car. Exactly. And then they start killing people in this car, and that's what the that's right. what the Stephen King story is so about. So Michael Myers, in a lot of ways, is the vehicle, no pun intended, for Corey to basically embody embody the next sort of generation of evil. So, you know, so for me, it was a lot of like, I, I was trying to process the movie in so many different ways and kills and this movie are almost the same. Yeah. I, I haven't really fully decided which one I like more or less because I also, it's so tough when, you know, I'm, I'm such a big fan of these movies and I'm sort of always keeping tabs on what's going on. So, you know, like I find out things that originally it was going to be two films that took over, took place over the course of one night and 
because of COVID and all these different things, they changed it. And I try to leave those things like outside of how I think about this movie, but it's a little bit hard. But I will say mm -hmm. the second time watching it, now knowing the story and knowing yeah. what happens, I feel like I can approach it and appreciate it from a, from a little bit of a different perspective. And I think at the end of the day, I might actually, I might really actually appreciate that David Gordon Green didn't just try to make the 78 it's, it's or the risk. 2018 movie again, because mm -hmm. to yeah. have Laurie stalking or Michael having uh, stalking Laurie again, stalking Allison, I'm like, uh, I get as a filmmaker why that would be kind of boring to do if you're going to do mm -hmm. the third right. one. So to come into right. it with a different, a different unique twist, I actually do like it. So right. I don't know exactly where it ranks in between kills and ends, but I still do think that the original is my one number one favorite yep. of this trilogy. I think 2018. And then I'm a little bit undecided when it comes to what okay. I like the most in the third or fourth position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Augustine, you got to hit us with your thoughts, brother. What did you think of this? <laughs> what did you expect? And then how did it I... sort of live up to any of those expectations? I... I didn't come in with a, a lot of expectations because I, to me, these Halloween movies are, are not as near and dear as they are to Adam, right? So to me, it's, I feel like I can take a step back easier from, from how Adam, because Adam, you're the king of the, these, this franchise on the internet, I think. And like, this is, this is your bag here. But for me, I would rank this movie as right under the original because it was a bold move what they did to finally make mm. the decision to kill Michael. It's huge. It, it's, it's a big step. And I feel like with the beginning of every story, there has to come an end to the story. You cannot drag Michael Myers out forever without taking him up to a thousand percent, which takes away from what Michael Watt Myers was in the beginning of the movie. He was a guy with a knife terrorizing somebody in the house right and that's what makes the movie mm -hmm. so special is that the movie had to be made for the time first of all like it was it was also playing on the fears of pete that people had at the time like the babysitter killers was it was a, a big thing for it and now i think it was really smart to take the 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 podcasting true crime feel mm -hmm. of the current day i think that's brilliant because that's how people are consuming their media nowadays like the true crime community podcasting is the Fucking biggest huge. podcasting platforms it's, in the world at this point so we're on patreon the right. true crime podcasts are the biggest podcasts on patreon right now yeah dude they have like twenty thousand subscribers like they these people are are so successful because they understand what people are are consuming and for them to right. bring in the psychology of a true crime fan which would absolutely happen with these cases that are so legendary right like people mm -hmm. obsess about these these this murder that happened and there's a true crime podcast that lasts five years and they're analyzing everything and talking over mm -hmm. everything and of course there would be some kind of evolution i think this was the proper evolution if you're gonna bring this franchise to this day and age mm -hmm. and now Agreed. to to make the bold decision to take a 40-year franchise and end it i think is also really good because like i said we saw i mean i haven't seen it but from what i'm hearing about the other timelines and the other versions they're taking michael and like giving him this unnecessary backstory and taking the murders up to like this kind of silly amount of like grotesqueness and murderness and it really detracts from where michael was at the very beginning and what made him really truly terrifying and i mm -hmm. think this movie really comes in and strips it all down to like okay what would lori really be doing at this point given given the other two events that happened in this proper timeline so <laughs> i i gotta give it to a man i i'm i really 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 enjoyed this movie I think it was the perfect way to bring it up to the modern day. And also, even though like it's tough to say personally how I would have liked Michael to end, it's not up to me how right. it ends. Right. And this is what right. they gave me. And so I'm like, cool, that's how he died. That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Lori did it at least. The mo the mm -hmm. way he died, it's up to the, you know, the silliness and the craziness of this movie, which yeah. I think was perfectly appropriate. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think there's there's a lot to say about about this franchise. But overall, this movie was super successful to me. And I had fun. Like, I wasn't watching this movie ready to be grossed out at every point. I think they had the right amount of gore, the right amount of blood, the right amount of murders. Like, right. everything right. was kind of well thought out. The characters had very clear uh, expectations and, and motivations and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't think it failed at any point, honestly. Like, I think it's a very successful yeah. Halloween movie. 
I'll say that I think <laughs> that the um, I think you're right, Augustine. It's like I can't I yeah. can't fault the movie for too much. It just I just know walking away from it now, having seen it twice, that mm-hmm. it's like I think it's going to come down to people's preference. And when the first time Absolutely. they watch the movie, mm-hmm. either they're vibing with the sort of Corey storyline of it, or they're going to mm-hmm. go, "That's not what I'm into," and right. think of the whole storyline as as just something that they're not as into. But maybe over time, right. over years, will the years yeah. be kinder to this film and this ending? You know, I even enjoyed it more on the second viewing in it. I've only seen it just mm-hmm. a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. so I think that's what it's going to boil down to: is people are going to go, "It's just not my preference." That's that's mm-hmm. you know this particular Halloween story. And thinking yeah. back on it, I'm kind of glad that Corey was killed by Michael mm-hmm. himself. You know, it kind of. Yeah. It's Absolutely. kind of very fitting. And I know Adam has talked to, to me about this before, but like if they were to continue the franchise that it would, it should, and probably, I think it, it's probably what they'll do, a completely different set of characters, a completely different mm-hmm. story and a completely different town, whether it's an anthology thing, something like Halloween three season of the witch, or mm-hmm. even just if it's still set in this same world, but it's a different town, not Haddonfield, but some other town in some other state in the United States. And another mm-hmm. group of characters are like, they're aware of the Michael Myers killings that happen in Haddonfield. Right. And then something else happens on Halloween night and they have to deal with it. Yeah would probably be the best way to continue this and to honor the franchise and to just let Michael Myers kind of stay dead. You know, it's, Mm -hmm. it's, and, and I wouldn't do ever do a reboot with a new Laurie and a new Mike, like it, Mm -hmm. the story's done. It's been told and, and, um, yeah. It's done. So I think, and I'm I think that's what they're hinting at, Hector, because of the la- some of the last lines where she says that evil does not die, it just changes shape. Like yeah. the, the, I, I think it's a smart move to say, look, we are going to change the look of the Halloween universe, but we want to try to bring you more content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's what they're really trying to say with that. But I don't yeah. know. What, what I do think, you What do you think, Adam? I, I think um, the one thing that I that I hundred percent agree with you on is. I love the bold move to kill Michael Myers because Agreed. Absolutely. previous attempts to do it have obviously failed because every time right. they do it, he keeps coming back. And mm-hmm. part of that was that thing I talked about, about the, about the clause in the contract. And for me, it's like, look, I totally agree. Could you make Halloween movies forever where Michael keeps coming back and continues killing different groups of people? And like, because the story has been going on for 44 years now, yeah. we've done almost, I feel like everything that you kind of can do with this right especially with this timeline like i think this timeline it didn't mm-hmm. have finality the last time we did it and then it kind of mm-hmm. did but then did it again mm-hmm. this i i really appreciate that they just said you know what and i think jamie lee curtis had a lot to do with this because her previous mm-hmm. attempts of m- making sure there was finality didn't happen so i think mm-hmm. this was a great way for yeah. her to come back and to say i will do this again but and this it is a huge point for it me has to end. it has to mm-hmm. have an ending yep. and mm-hmm. i think it's very fitting for jamie lee curtis to be the one to start and end this franchise Absolutely. and that's not to, that's not to say that you know of course the anthology thing is something that has been talked about a lot especially mm-hmm. because when halloween 3 came out it was just a different time in a different era 1982 you know a lot of things yeah. were happening we were starting to get into friday the 13th the texas chainsaw had been going on already even before right. halloween yeah right Nightmare on Elm Street had been happening. So it was just kind of a different world. But I think now, Mm -hmm. whether it is the anthology route, whether it is leaning into maybe the true crime sort of feel that that the world I feel like now especially is really going through. Mm -hmm. Everyone's experiencing true crime in podcast form or series form. You know, we have these documentaries on Netflix. We have these original series on Netflix. I think there is an opportunity where you could try to do something within the world of Halloween that maybe it is connected to this main timeline that goes and, and focuses on other killers who were maybe inspired by Michael Myers or new killers who are just not even related or inspired in any way, but they take place in the same universe. So I think there are opportunities. And as for Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, I don't think that it is impossible to do a Halloween story where you could bring these characters back, but I don't think that you could and should do it the same way it's been done. You would have to do it in a really unique, fresh way. And I think there are interesting ways to maybe explore things that have been in other Halloween movies. But I feel like that would take a lot of really careful crafting and planning to really be able to pull it off. So, but Mm -hmm. yeah, I I I do think that Michael Myers should stay dead for at least, at least five to 10 years before they even humor the idea of bringing Michael Myers back. Cause I mean, it's inevitable that it will happen, but I want it to be very different from what they've already done. 
here, here's what I'll say, and I don't think the Halloween franchise has ever done something like this, this kind of like expanded media. But if they wanted to tell stories with Michael Myers and Laurie Strode to come out with a new video game, that's like, here's here's the yeah. original movie and kind of like a unique sort of a video game way that tells a longer story, a longer form thing. Do a, do a Halloween series of novels, do comic books, do things that are not right. a movie where you're bringing back Jamie right. Lee Curtis. It's done. It's retired. You know, tell more stories that, that are set between 2018 and 2022, like this gap of like a couple of years, what's happening in Haddonfield. Do that kind of thing or do different media, you know, do a VR experience. I don't know, some bullshit that's like a new Halloween thing, but it's not like a movie to kind of divert or dilute how this franchise ended with this particular story. I think I think that'd be the smartest way to go. But I don't know if that franchise is right for comic books or video. But then again, in the video game world, this horror video game genre has really been taken off. And we've seen like, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Bruce Campbell's Ash has come back in a bit, like all these kinds of things. Yeah. Um, and kind of like a slasher video game. I mean, Friday uh, the 13th had a straight up game too. You know, mm-hmm. so maybe yeah. that, that, can, that can happen. And maybe like a younger actor can be cast to play like Laurie Strode. And maybe she can have the likeness of Jamie Lee Curtis with her permission and she gets paid or whatever, whatever. But like, yeah, yeah not in a movie. I don't want to see, I don't want to see another movie come out. That's like this summer. Yeah. Michael Myers is back. Michael I'd be like, no, no. Yeah, no do I'd that. be disappointed do if that. they said Michael is back. I yeah. really like the idea of an anthology, but I'm yeah. going to leave that to showrunners and creators to come up there with that idea. It could, it could be really cool. Like if, if you sit down a group of talented writers in a room and say, Hey, what are these other ideas that we have for this franchise? I think something really cool could come up, but here's my idea. Here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. More of a stranger things kind of thing. Like it could be really cool. Speaking of, here's my pitch, right? Straight to Netflix, eight episode series following Lori and the sheriff in Japan on their vacation. It's all happy. There's no killings. It's all zing. It's all super great. Um, And it's just like. Yeah, let's just watch just that and show. then be happy. Like just a travel very show. Romantic, like a very romantic, just like mm-hmm. two people just enjoying their day and their time in Japan. That'd be great. Yeah. Or how yeah. Um, y- did you guys see the new Evil Dead remake? It's a completely new, like updated version mm-hmm. of the original Evil Dead film. Oh, and at the very end, Alvarez? Yes. Yeah, I've seen post it once. Credits, post credits, Bruce Campbell shows up and he just goes groovy and then it cuts away. Like he wasn't in the story at all. I'm like, what if they came out with a new Halloween something, season of the witch or something or some other town and there's some other horror, some serial killer. And at the end of that movie, the killer Michael gets Myers killed or something. Goes, no. He dies tonight. No, Ooh. no. Credits roll and post credits, you cut to in Japan at some cherry blossoms, Lori and her boyfriend. And she's just on her phone and she's just like, oh, that's so sad what happened in that town. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's keep going on vacation. Yeah. Just like, that's all. <laughs> She hears about it and she goes, Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I've been there. And then what's next on our vacation? I don't know. I don't think we'll hear anything anytime soon, but I do think that maybe in like six months to a year, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll we'll see what they have in store. But anthology route, Netflix, Amazon, whatever series, like I I think that could be an interesting route to take something that's in this universe. And I think I may have even talked about doing um, like an annual film where you get horror directors like Mike Flanagan, you know, that could be cool. get people like that to come in and do something that, that is like Halloween set in the world of Halloween, but it's not Michael Myers. But, you know, we'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll, see. we'll see. We also don't know like what Blumhouse's involvement is, if they're going to be, you know, responsible for making more things with these with this franchise, like absolutely no clue. So but um, yeah. this was fun. I'm glad we re- I'm glad I got a chance to watch it actually twice um or watch it for a second time and i feel like it really clarified my thoughts on the movie quite a bit and to my surprise Mm -hmm. i'm like oh you know what i actually really do like this movie and i kind of don't give a shit what anyone on twitter says i like it (laughs) i'm glad i'm not on the the hollywood twitter discourse because it really like as much as we like to say that we don't really care about you know twitter opinions or whatever it does kind of put you in a different state of mind of like oh well i was i felt a little, little hurt. hurt people were like this movie's the worst yeah, movie exactly. ever i'm like oh what oh how is it the it's worst not, dude that movie not. was so fun oh my god not. i'm still gonna stay off <laughs> halloween <laughs> twitter sorry i'm gonna enjoy this movie i'm gonna stay yeah. with my good feeling i'm gonna remember jamie lee curtis smiling and having a good time finally Very in the awesome, franchise baby. like great blossoms in my mind she's having a kawaii time in japan right now so mm-hmm. that's it Lord's <laughs> that's forever people. and goodbye and goodbye <laughs> uh, but guys of course let us know in the comments below what you thought about the movie what have you thought about this whole franchise if you're following along for the first time let us know if next year you guys want us to go through the entire franchise i have a feeling we're going to anyway but uh you know let us know if you're still interested yeah. in that Check out the uncuts on Patreon. 
subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.